So how have you seen uh, downtown Boston, you know, revitalize itself over the past, you know, kind of two years? Right. So as we know, the, the city's transformed dramatically in the, in the past couple of years. Uh, downtown Crossing fell on pretty hard times in the 60s and 70s and 80s. Um, and with Millennium Partners coming in and sort of seeding the neighborhood, um, it, it was a really smart decision for us as an investment opportunity mm -hmm. to sort of draw together Washington Street um, and enhance the cityscape um, as we saw a really great opportunity. Um, within the last two years, it, it feels like it's a completely different neighborhood. Um, it's, it's, there's a bustle around at night, which just, it's, it's electrifying. What are some of the things you like to do downtown? Well, I'm here in the hotel frequently, but you know, with all the restaurants opening, you know, we just opened Ruka, which is a Peruvian uh, concept, uh, concept, and um, Pabu opened in the Millennium Tower. Um, there's three or four other restaurants that have opened in the area, and, it, and they're all busy for lunch, and they're all busy for dinner, which is exciting. You know, the shops that have come in, Roach Brothers, and Primark, um, this is, you, know, you have everything here. Whereas a few years ago, you would have needed to sort of go to the back bay or go down to the seaport just to go to a different restaurant every other day. So um, it's an exciting part of town. Have you heard about the Winthrop Square project? Absolutely. We're strong advocates of the Winthrop project. Um, it, you know, it, it adds, it, it's, a, it's more of a catalyst for this further transformation, which Boston's downtown needs. Um, it's no longer the back bay as sort of the, 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 the area to be in Boston. It, it really should be a day and a night sort of environment in this neighborhood.